bonus start to begin. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Super Bonus Round. We're back with more Haunted Mansion with Jad Peanut. Hey! And we're going to the pantry. We have, <laughs> God. we have nearly half of the ghosts in this game yeah. now. Mm -hmm. And we finally survived that mausoleum gauntlet of the gorilla gar gargoyle and Larry David and all the ghosts <laughs> and the spiders. Maybe we'll see them again, maybe we won't. No. This is the pantry? What the hell? I mean, well, okay, let's, let's be real. This is a mansion, and I guess to serve a bunch of people at a big old house, your pantry better be huge. Oh. Ghost. That's a cavern. I'm just gonna hold this until they. Yep, Larry David's back. Hey, what do you think you're doing in my pantry? Can a guy just eat, eat a peanut butter sandwich at three in the morning in peace? Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> Can't a guy have a bowl of cocoa pebbles at three in the morning? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, oh Gar Gorilla Gargoyle's oh, back. back. Already he's back. Yeah, but uh, we don't have we don't have a three minute uh, timer to worry about. No, we just have Larry David. Oh, I see a speck of the monkey there. They're yeah, just going to lob those grenades. Don't care if they give you splash damage. No, it's just thinking maybe you want to use a charge or something, but it's your funeral. And I would know all about those, because I'm dead. <laughs> if I wasn't worried about copyright, I'd, I'd have that be the end of the uh, first episode he was in. <laughs> yeah, just use that audio instead, John. Yeah, I'll probably... I'll, you doing the... Or it could just be you and me, uh, acapelling it. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, that was... Yeah, just, just have, like, a... We'll, we'll, we'll find some time at the end of the recording to do that. All right, let's, yeah. let's, let's figure out how this is supposed to work. Ooh. Okay, yeah, Penny, that did something. I think it opened up the gate at the opening of the level. Oh, wait. No. You got whatever the hell that is. It was... Yeah, they still haven't told me what that is. No, maybe you need keys? Or solve a puzzle. Ah, uh, here we go. That... Oh! oh. Uh. The controls are still janky. Okay, so I think we just have to fix all the crooked paintings. Mm-hmm. Oh, another one open. What in the hell? Yeah, well, it's no time like the present. What, what the okay. fuck? What the hell? Hell's Kitchen. Up. It's rotten! Oh, it's wrong Hell's Kitchen. Seems a bit overkill for bugs, though. Yeah, this, like, fisheye lens thing is, like, nah, I don't like it. Yeah. And it's also yeah, the seizure- it's, like, it's also the seizure-inducing colors again. I don't yeah, like this. Yeah, the fisheye lens is, like, when you- those underwater levels in early 3D games, it just made it harder to navigate. Yeah, and- and, and trying to go for realism, you just made- you just made your players sicker. Mm-hmm. What, do I just kill all the bugs in here, or I don't, I don't understand? What was the point of this? Mm. I mean, I can always look at the guide and find out, but I'd rather just figure it out on my own. There you go, one up. Oh. Okay, that did some. Something hopped out, too. Can't see it because of the fucking light effects. Yeah, who thought this was a good idea? Oh. Oh, there you go. It's a crank that opens the door. Let me guess, you gotta run in there before it closes quickly? Oh, it's blocked by, um, 
Satan teeth. Ah, of course. Because why, why wouldn't it be? Maybe you gotta go back to that portal and it'll be open on the other side, or... Oh, okay, so it's slowly, uh... Oh, I see. And I gotta run... Yep. How very Zelda of you. Yeah, I still hear it. Let's go. Yeah, we go. Run, Zeke. Oh, what am I saying? You can't. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. And then we turn the lights on. Oh, that wasn't yeah, so bad. No. Oh. Oh, it's Fuck this guy. Fuck the lights. I like it in the dark better. Okay, now you gotta fight him again. Yeah, but now I have a better shot. Ow! It's ah. fucking hurt! I wouldn't be this much of a pushover in the final boss. He won't be as much of a pushover as General Scales. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, I think when we I think yeah. when we when we re re when we re-recorded that episode, I didn't even do anything. Like no, how it, just, how it happens uh, is you just you just strike him and then that's it. But in the when we re we did it, it it just activated on its own. Yeah. Like not exactly. Ow! Fuck! <laughs> I just love- I just love the idea of him, like, doing these incantations or bragging, and when you hit him, he's like, OW SHIT! <laughs> like, oh he's- a, he's- he's- I a, would he's love a boss fight where the- where the boss just swears like a sailor every time you hit him. When he's trying to act all tough and he's like, it's like, Foolish mortal, you will never escape this necrop- OW! GOD DAMN IT! FUCK! MY TOE! Get those slouse. God, ow! I had Rock burn. those bug enemies. Remind me of that tiny mouse I told you about. Be nice if the yep. bugs give me health. Eat fire! Ow! That didn't mean hit me too, damn I, it! You remember I told you about that tiny eating louse? That's I what am... those things look like. Yeah, I'm trying to beat the boss at the moment. He's actually he's, oh, a, he's he's a bit tougher than he was before because he keeps disappearing and reappearing. This makes it a bit more tedious from the looks of it. We don't know how to make him difficult, we just know how to make him annoying. <laughs> yeah, sounds boss fight design 101. No, I think that's this game 101. <laughs> we don't know how to make it challenging, we just know how to make it frustrating. <laughs> ah, piss! I, that's yep, my, that took care of him. That's my head cannon of Thorn now. He's this, he uh, he puts on this front of being a, a dark lord, but as soon as you hit him, he's just a regular old guy. He's like, ah, oh, God! Oh wait, Fuck. that pain's crooked. Back in in the back, turn around, to the oh. left. I wonder what that does. There you go. Oh. Wow, all that's that for a all that for <laughs> for a tarot card. Okay, so... Is it still playing the boss music, or am I nuts? Hmm. Oh, there they are. Hmm, that's some good ectoplasm. Oh, that reminds me of that Ghostbusters high seat drink they used to do. Ecto cooler. Yeah, I think they tried to bring that back for the, uh, the movie reboot, too. I wonder if they're bringing it back for the third Ghostbusters. It'll have to be next year, though. It's supposed to be in July, True. but they delayed it. True, and I doubt Sony wants to get on AMC's bad side like Universal did. Oh God, and that that what that wasn't really even an offensive move anyway. Like it's their movies; they can do what the hell they want with it. Mm -hmm. and uh, then, yeah, and apparently, Com my Cinema or Regal Plex are doing the same thing now. Carmike? Carmike's hardly around anymore. What the hell? Oh, I mean Regal. Oh, I uh, forgot about that. No, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not correcting you. It's like Carmike. What the fuck are you doing? You. The, the only Carmike I knew of was by where my parents live, and that got turned into an AMC. That's how I know that they're not around very much anymore. 
And with Scoob now going to digital, I wonder if what they'll do the same to Warner Brothers. Well, we shall see. Yeah, Scoob, it'll Scoob, be. Scoob hasn't come out yet. Yeah, it would be very stupid of them to do so. Do you plan on renting it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I love the classic Hanna-Barbera stuff. Well, I might wait until I, uh, until, um, what, uh, what, I, what you have to say to about it before I consider renting it myself. Because okay. I'm cautiously optimistic and obviously no reviews have come out because there's no early screenings or screenings, yeah. period. All right, we have ten more spirits to grab. Um... I mean, just from the trailers alone, some of the voices are still charming to me. I mean, Dick. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, especially with that's how they the just replace a step one, but Frank Rucker for Mystery Incorporated. Yeah. Um, it would have been nice, a nice gesture if they got uh, Matt Lillard to be uh, Shaggy again. It's really funny that uh, the live action actor got to end up replacing the uh, original. Casey Kasem. Yeah. Yeah, like, mainly because he retired, uh... And then he died. Uh, true, yeah. He, like, died at... nice reference I first sacked his father in the reboot, though. Oh, yeah, in, uh, Mystery Incorporated? The show? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I've... I've... I mean, any show that, uh, chooses to not acknowledge Scrappy-Doo, uh, and says, let's never speak of him again, uh, <laughs> is a winner in my book. Yeah. And they got the lead art director from Team Times to be the art director of that as well. Explains why it's good. Mm -hmm. it, and uh, they made Fred have a fetish for setting traps for people. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, la linguistically, probably did not age well. True. Cause, uh, and not to mention how towards the end of the series it gets more Lovecraftian. I won't no. spoil it. I mean, it's Scooby-Doo, it wouldn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. Okay, where the fuck are these other ghosties? Mm -hmm. oh, are, they in the ca are they in the cabinets? Or is that just the, the, the polygon shifting around because this game is old? Huh, good question. Uh, hmm. Oh, there's a Master Gracie photo, uh, painting. Maybe they're in there. Nope. I don't think you can even get on there. Yeah, probably not. Oh god, that song Jump On It is even more creepier now that we know about Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson didn't do the song Jump On It. Oh, who was it then? I don't know. But it's not, it definitely wasn't him. Hmm. Where the hell did that come from, by the way? I don't know when you sit, when I was when I said you couldn't jump on it. Wow. No, it, Michael Jackson definitely did not do that song. That is uh I'll look it up later who did it. The Sugar Hill Gang. Yeah. I just know that song from that one uh, scene in Fresh Prince of Bel Air where uh, Will and Carlton were dancing to it. And they they fucking mm -hmm. killed it. Ah, okay. I was I actually got a little teary eyed because uh, before we started recording today, uh, apparently the the cast of Fresh Prince of Bel Air did a uh, a Zoom meetup special for the 30th anniversary of the original show, and they Aww. did a they did they did a tribute for uh, James Avery who passed away, uh, I think about a decade ago now, and uh, they were uh, oh. they were and they used to, uh, they were showing the other actors' reactions to their favorite scenes they did with him, and it was it was it was pretty heartwarming. Uh. And of course, oh, yeah, I, was... I had I had to be reminded of probably the saddest scene in the entire show, where uh, Will's father, uh, not his real life father, uh, but the one on the show, leaves, and uh, Will has a mental breakdown, and uh, he just hugs it out with uh, Uncle Phil. Holy crap! Yeah, that that I... that scene that's that scene still hurts. Like, like he he, uh, he he tries to play it off, but then he lashes out, and then he before Phil hugs him, he cries. Why doesn't he? Wa why don't he want me, man? They, fu they fucking ruined me, that scene. And that show is still legit hilarious, too. Like, like I still remember uh, James Avery's exaggerated expressions every time he was... He was like... Like, whenever he had that, that uh, shit-eating grin smile, like, he's like, I'm about to rip my nephew's head off. Uh, smiles. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a laugh riot. James Avery... He was, like, a good chunk of that show. Like, I, I can't imagine it without him. 
Yeah, he was such a hilarious as Shredder. Yeah. It's too bad he died before he could be come back for that uh, anniversary uh, thing in um, Team NT. But uh, True. Kevin Michael Richardson does a good impression of him. Where the fuck are these ghosts? As, far, as fascinating as this conversation is, I figured the people watching this who want to see the game are like, "Whoa, where, where the what the fuck are they wandering around for?" I'm like, "It's a let's play. We can have, we can talk too." Let's see. But at the same time, <laughs> oh, where the wait. fuck are these ghosts? Uh, yeah, this gives me flashbacks to when we first started playing, in, and in the first room, we couldn't find those fucking ghosts. Oh yeah. Um. Let's scroll up a bit and see if we can find out where they are. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Two barrels. Two barrels that are throbbing, but we did. Please don't. First of all, don't ever use throbbing again. <laughs> Wait. Oh, here we go. And they all pop out. Oh, Larry, Larry David's back. Hey, having trouble finding them ghosts, huh? Not anymore. Not like you helped. Hey, I'm a fucking enemy. I don't have to help you find shit. We meet again, young and where have you been? <laughs> Is this some kind of a ride to you? Jokes! I just have to carry it around now. However, any warrior who goes beyond the call of duty on the field of battle deserves to be recognized for his efforts. Therefore, Ezekiel Holloway was showing great bravery in bringing me this. I was going to listen to a gem. I hereby declare you a um, uh, squire. Yes, squire. Speaking of battle, I have something for your arsenal. Madam Leoda had me hide one of the, uh, oh, oh, where did I put it? Ah, yeah. Try it, check your neck hole. It's probably where you put it. I was wondering why it was so hard to breathe. That's probably because I'm dead, though. You may have won a few <laughs> battles, lad, but in case you hadn't noticed, we are still at war. <laughs> and the Larry Davids are like, ah, oh, we're... We're just waiting for the cutscene to finish. This new soul gem will increase the power of your rapid shots and let you do a better job blasting those enemies. <laughs> this will come in handy as we continue on. Oh good, because I was worried about using charge shots forever. Test it on those Larry Davids. Oh, Ooh, hello. Spreader. <laughs> this thing is a certifiable <laughs> gun now. <laughs> It's like a shotgun blast. The spreads. My god, man! That thing is so powerful, they might as well have the NLA, the National Lantern Association. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you remember that episode of Harvey Birdman where they talked about that? Only it was with guitars, cars. Because of uh, El Cabong? So yeah. Oh, god. No, I haven't. I don't remember. I don't. I haven't seen every Harvey Birdman, just the, the, the famous ones. Ah. Yeah, because they made quick draw a parody of the uh, NRA president at the time who was in that those old Planet of the Apes movies and... Charlton Heston? The, yeah, Charlton Heston, who was a parody of that and... Maurice Lamarck honestly did an amazing job voicing them in that. Oh, um, I can imagine, yeah. Yeah, and uh... And they were able to buy the case and have to get funding from the National Guitar Association. <laughs> uh, heart, if this quarantine goes on for several more months, I, I'm adding Harvey Birdman to my Q, uh, rewatch queue. But I, but I hope they don't move it to HBO Max. But they, they might, they might. Mm -hmm. I know Rick and Money's gonna be one of the own, only um, I've got trim shows that's gonna be on both. On uh, HBO Max and Adult Swim? And Hulu. Hmm. Okay, so next is the trophy room. 
Oh uh, yeah. I don't remember that being on the ride though. Was it on the ride? Well, I guess we'll we'll look and see when we find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? We have 525, which means we can get the upstairs hallway now. So we can leave this oh, yeah. hallway. For, we can leave this hallway forever now. Man, that ah. thing takes out Larry David quick. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you get a fucking shotgun. I get a, a cover from a coffin. Who says this is a fair fight? You, I, I, all I have are three freaking wishbones. Oh, the upstairs hallway. Is this like the seemingly endless hallway now? That's what I thought we were in, but maybe this is it now. I think it's time to let you know what we're up against, Zeke. Our enemy is none other than the Grand Master of the Order of Shadows, Atticus Thorn. He has survived for the centuries beyond his natural life by... Devouring the very souls he bends to his will. Though not as powerful as he was. Like Shao Kahn. He hmm. is growing stronger and has amassed a legion of evil spirits and followers to help him achieve his ultimate goal. The utter annihilation of the afterlife. Unfortunately, the hopes of the Brotherhood have all but died with the owners of the mansion and my own imprisonment. This is why we need your help, Zeke. We cannot let Thorn succeed. I guess the Thorn's not very pro afterlife. Mm. Let's see. Oh, more of those still. Uh, that door means nothing. Just a decoration. Museum, so 700. Oh, they go down faster, oh, that thing. Maybe. Oh yeah, this is the endless hallway with the lantern. Oh yeah, the lantern. Oh neat. Okay, you're gonna want to save. Yeah. Let's take a look around this hallway before we end the episode. Yeah. All right, we're going. We are going to the trophy room next. Oh, there's more of these now. So those are basically the knocking doors from the ride, uh, but they're but they're actually opening is the problem. Yeah, she goes down easier to that too. Uh, this another hallway or another room? Oh, the hallway's bigger now because there's, there's more winding paths. Nah. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a uh, reduce of pain, and I think it is. The children's room, the toy room, which we could also enter now too. Mm -hmm. Let's just get a lay of the land before we end the episode yeah. because I, I we spent a lot of time in that pantry. Study, which we can all man, there's like so many things we can go into now. Yeah. Oh. I got you before you could scram. <laughs> before you can scram? <laughs> yeah, you never heard people say like they uh, he scram when they talk with their cats uh, yawning. No. I know. Uh, I saw this compilation of this guy just screaming as his cat yawns. Oh yeah. I <laughs> Yeah, because cats look like they're screaming when they're yawning, but then I guess so do people. Yeah. Oh, and there's a shortcut to the foyer in here. Oh yeah, all the hallways are connected. Oh. And, the, and yeah. then the gallery. And there's one of the stretching room paintings. Wait, it's oh, crooked. No. Can I can I uncrook it? Nope. Nope. It's just right of your reach. But you know, oh, it's also out of our reach. The next episode. The Yes, that's correct. So next time on the Super Bonus Round, we're going to go to, I think, either the children's room, the study, or whatever we decide. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye.